I'm very much someone who gets excited about ideas. So like I use songwriting to like to get out ideas. Regina and I will like work on different songs that are kind of talking about the same things, but like trying to like look at something from a lot of different angles. When you go to do a record, you really don't choose the kind of songs you're going to write. You 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 don't have very little control over what is inspiring to you. An album kind of has a life of its own, and you're just trying to be in service to, to the album. A funeral was very much like we'd play a couple shows, save up a little bit of money, and then record a song. So it was kind of spaced out over a long period of time. Howard runs a studio in Montreal. Uh, he was the drummer in the band at that time, and uh, he runs a studio called Hotel Le Tango, where a lot of the Constellation bands, you know, Godspeedy Black Emperor, and like a lot of those bands had recorded. He had a 24-track tape machine, and like just being able to go into like a real studio and record it was just so thrilling. I remember thinking, oh, this, this is $25 an hour, like we gotta like focus here. You know, it's like, you're very much aware of like your limitations. And then Neon Bible, we set up our own studio. We bought a, this small church outside of Montreal. It was a good way to forget about the rest of the world because we just kind of threw ourselves into that project. We're like painting the studio and, and buying gear. Like I really wanted to record a pipe organ and like, you know, we, we went around hearing different pipe organs and found this amazing one in Montreal. and. We did a lot of like kind of field recording and I think the Neon Bible is like a more coherent record. Like I think it'll probably hold up a little bit better over time. Funeral sounds a bit more like a mixtape to me. I kind of prefer Neon Bible as a record, but I think some of the songs on Funeral are, you know, you know, like a song like Tunnel is like a road over like a five year period, you know, so it's like, I think that like the melody and the counter melody in that one is like one of the favorite, my favorite things. but that's took like five years to write so it's like if it isn't motivated out of like kind of love and some kind of spirit of exploration or wanting to see what's out there then most of the bands that I really like have like kind of sabotaged their careers at a certain point I think it's important because otherwise you kind of end up just kind of wanting to do repeat what you've already done because that's what people like to hear a lot of times <laughs>